Well, we've had some interesting quotes from Darwin Nunez recently in an interview about the transition to the Premier League. He said, I didn't expect the Premier League to be so strong. Nico Otamendi told me that, but I still didn't expect it. The football is more difficult than in Portugal and more competitive. You don't get much time. Klopp knows my strength is my speed running into space. Also, he tells me that I need to be more calm when I'm playing and that I need to move more. He tells me I'm a player with a lot of quality, so that's more or less what he wants from me. And of course, that I score goals. I don't think I'm playing well at the moment. I still have many things to work on, for example, my finishing. But I think the same thing is happening to me as happened to Luis Suarez. In his second year, he tore it up. Something similar happened to me already at Benfica. The first year went very badly for me, and in the second, I exploded. Luis, your reaction to what Nunez has said here? I totally agree with him. I think that uh, when you arrived to Premier League, it kind of shocked you. And I think that he wasn't expecting that it was going to be so complicated. When he received the ball, it's always someone on team. Players are very fast, very strong. So it's not going to be easy to uh, impose your physical condition against them. You need to find the rhythm of how Liverpool play. That is a very high intensity. So you need to know when to run, where to run. And you need to adapt to a, a different team. So there is a lot of things that he needs to continue working. But I also agree with him on he can become one of the best striking in Premier League because all those attributes that uh, big players ha uh, need, he has it. He's strong, he's very good in the air, he's, he's got a good finish, even though, they, of course, he needs to continue working. But the most important is that strength. When he's got a full speed, that power that he's got on these footballs, on today's football, is very important, and he's got it. So he needs to continue adapting, he needs to continue working, but definitely I think that it will work for Liverpool having him on the line. Ale? The thing that I disagree with uh, in Darwin Nunez is, is him sort of kind of presenting the idea as if he has uh, had a terrible season. And he hasn't. Look, he hasn't been outstanding and as productive as, as he would have wanted to be. But when you look at Liverpool and the attacking players, they are a different team when he's on the field because he does give them that mobility. He does give them that, that speed in behind. And it's a guy that is always active and is difficult to defend. Now, the final touch hasn't always been there. But I think in evaluating uh, Darwin Nunez, in the total picture of it all, I, I, I don't see this as a terrible season for him or a bad season for that matter. Now, the expectations were something different. And so, therefore, everybody wants him to score a hat trick every game. That's not going to happen. I do appreciate the introspective look of Darwin Nunez, in which he's seen everything and saying everything that he's feeling about his experience. So that means that he's thinking about it, that means that he's processing the information, and that he is willing to then do the things that he needs to do in order to adjust whenever he has the time to then get all this information together, get into the off season and say, all right, these are the things that didn't work for me. I know this, and I can work towards a goal, a goal that can be attainable for me. Again, the introspective look, I think, is important for every player, and he has done a good job of providing us with that information. Yeah, and we'll see if there could be some big changing moment for him in the Champions League that is upcoming when Liverpool take on Real Madrid. Uh, Milan take on Tottenham on February 14th when it returns. At least Spurs can feel better about themselves when they see Milan's recent form. Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+.